हेलो स्टूडेंट वेलकम ऑल ऑफ यू ऑन अवर यूट्यूब चैनल दैट इज डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ मैथमेटिक्स संजीवनी महाविद्यालय चापोली आई होप यू आर वाचिंग ऑल वीडियोस रेगुलरली एंड एंजॉइंग इट अप टू अवर डेट सेवेंथ नवंबर एंड 2020 we have finished one topics and uh, discussing second you try to watch all video regularly students in previous lectures we have discussed multiplication uh, sorry addition modulo p today we introducing multiplication modulo p concept multiplication modulo p so what is meant by multiplication modulo p so this is also new type of uh, multiplication like um, addition modulo m so here multiplication modulo p is uh, written as a cross p b cross means multiplication so here a and b are the any integers similarly uh, we defined actually in uh, multiplication modulo addition so a cross b with multiplication modulo p a and b are integers are integers and p is a fixed positive integer p is fixed positive integer so here by the definition a cross p what is the product its product should be r and there is also restriction this r must be lies between 0 to p and this r is also now this r is great or equal to 0 means it is 100% non negative and p is already positive integer so p is positive and g and uh, above that means the value r is greater or equal to 0 and p is positive so its range 100% must be positive so r must be positive so how can do uh, this product we discuss one example and that is 8 over multiplication p and p is 5 so do the do product like the ordinary product 8 into 3 that is 24 and divide to 24 by 5 and whatever the remainder what is the remainder remainder is 4 so this 4 is nothing but our r and so therefore 8 into 3 is 4 over multiplication modulo 5 so this is the product take ordinary multiplication and divide by that p to that product and take remainder and that remainder is nothing but our product so uh, we discuss other one example example 5 3 is equal to so here p is 3 that means our multiplication modulo is 3 so 5 into 4 20 divide to 20 by 3 so we get remainder 2 so our product is 2 when we multiply by 4 to 5 
when you multiply by 4 to 5 with the multiplication modulo 3 then we get answer is 2 we discuss some examples one example The set G is equal to 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 is a finite abelian group. The set show that show that it is a finite abelian group. It is a finite abelian group. Of order 6. Because there are 6 elements. With respect to addition modulo. With respect to addition modulo 6. Addition modulo 6. So this addition modulo 6. Form the group. This addition modulo 6. Form group. So we try to show it using composition table. We have already discussed in seventh lecture. So what is the composition table? So we can make this table like this. Composition table. This is the addition modulo six. Addition modulo six. And elements are zero, one. 2, 3, 4, 5 and here 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So take adding them 0 plus 0 that is 0, 0 plus 1, 1, 0 plus 2, 3, 4, 5, no doubt. After 1 plus 0, 1, 1 plus 1, 2, 1 plus 2, 3, 3 plus 1, 4, 4 plus 1, 5 and 5 plus 1, 6. But this is our modulo 6, addition modulo 6 is there, this composition. So whatever the addition divide by 6 and write the remainder. So 1 plus 5 that is 6 and 6 divided by 6 the remainder is 0. So 2 plus 0 is 2, 2 plus 1 is 3, 2 plus 2 is 4, 2 plus 3 is 5. And 2 plus 4 is 6, and remainder is 0. And 2 plus 5 is 7, and remainder is 1. So, in this view, we can make this table 3, 4, 5, 0, 1, 2, then 4, 5, 0, 1, 2, 3, and then 5, 0, 1, 2, 3. That means every addition modulo, addition modulo form a group, addition modulo form a group. So we observe that 0 is identity, 0 is identity, it is 100% closure, all elements of this group 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, no other elements here, all elements belonging to the Z. Every element has inverse, suppose 3. So, 3 is inverse is, where is identity 0? 3 is inverse is 3. 3, see here, 3, 3 is inverse. So, check uh, check this identity 0, 3. Now, 4, 4 inverse is, 4 is inverse is 1. So, in this view, we observe that every element possess inverse. 0 is the identity element. Associativity is the trivial and closure property must be satisfied. We observe here from this table. So student, every group, suppose there are the 5 elements, 0, 1, 2, 3, 2, 4, 5. So this form a group with respect to addition modulo 6. If there is a 6, this form a group 
with respect to addition modulo 7 if there is a 8 so this form the addition group addition modulo 7 so this is a special type of group this is a special type of group so you try to understand how interesting uh, this example how interesting okay in next lecture we will discuss about the examples of group uh, with respect to multiplication modulo p thank you thank you very much